Islam. <laughs> Having already risen my thoughts in prayer, I give all praise to the great God of the universe, affectionately known to the Moorish Americans as Allah. Allah is the author, the creator, or the governor of the worlds, the almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. All praises are due to Allah. Extend the highest of honors to his illustrious prophet, Prophet Noble Jurali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America, and the founder of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Extending those honors to his forerunner, the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, the founder of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, who did indeed warn and stir up the nations. Extending those honors to the first appointed Supreme Grand Sheik of the Supreme Grand Council and the first Grand Sheik of the, Uni of the Moore Science Temple of America, Brother E. Mealy Ill. Extending those honors to our current National Grand Sheik, Brother G. Turner Ill and his official staff. Extending those honors to our current Supreme Grand Sheik of the Supreme Grand Council, Brother R. Edwards Ill and his official staff. Extending honors to all things that the chairman for the evening gave honors to. Islam. 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 I'm Brother H. Ronisi Ill, Assistant National Grand Sheik and Supreme Grand Press Secretary for the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America. I am here to report on our Moorish American Holy Week, which began on January 8th and lasted until January 15th. To Moorish American Muslims nationwide, this is a high holy time wherein we reflect on the birth of our prophet, Noble Ali, which is January 8th, reflecting on his commitment, legacy, and sacrifices to uplift the Asiatic people of North America, instructing us that our true nationality is Moorish American and our true religion is Islamism. January 8th is also a time of gift giving and exchanging thoughts of love, not only between members of the temple, but also to our people as a whole. We were instructed that seven days after the birth of our prophet to observe our Moorish American New Year. So for the seven days between January 8th through January 15th, temples around the nation held festivities conducted in true Moorish fashion. We of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America held festivities in Baltimore, Maryland, which is also the location of Grand Temple 13, our home office. The festivities we held began with the January 8th celebrations which were held in our local temples. The Grand Sheiks and Sheik staff all gave high, very high honors to the life and legacy of the Prophet Noble Ali in a most spirited fashion. There was also food that was served to the members and visitors that gave all who were present a very positive presentation of the Moorish American Muslim way of life that is pro-family and pro-unity. The next scheduled events were scheduled on January 14th, 15th, and 16th. January 14th was a holy day, and the meeting was held in Baltimore, Maryland at 5525 Hartford Road at the Tanat Holistic Wellness Center. The meeting was very beautiful and sheiks from Grand Temple 19 in Atlanta, Georgia, and Grand Temple 13, Baltimore, Maryland, spoke with the National Grand Sheik, Brother G. Turner Ill, giving the final message for the evening. January 15th, our Moorish American New Year celebration and awards banquet was held at 5880 Roland Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. It was a very powerful event with Moorish delegates arriving from around the Moorish, from around the Baltimore area, Atlanta, Georgia, New York, and Texas. The meeting was chaired by our National Grand Chairman and Supreme Grand Sheik, Brother R. Edwards Ill. There were three speakers who spoke, Grand Sheik Eric Thompson Bay, Supreme Grand Historian, Brother D. Eddington Ill, and National Grand Sheik, Brother G. Turner Ill. Each speaker did a most profound job stirring the ethers and expounding on different aspects of the Moorish Divine National Movement. There, were no, there was an awards presentation in which the National Grand Sheik, Brother G. Turner Ill, called forth the children of Grand Temple 13 to present to Asiatics, to Asiatics and Muslims who were doing exemplary work uplifting fallen humanity. The awardees were Brother Michael Jackson Bay, President of the Moorish Gates of Baltimore Incorporated. Sister Shalanda Phillips Bay, Vice President of the Moorish Gates of Baltimore Incorporated. Sister T. Ronnie Seal, Grand Secretary of Grand Temple 19 and Assistant Grand Governor of Georgia. Miss Lawanda Perkins, President and CEO of I'm Still Standing Community Corporation, the ISSCC. Mrs. Keisha Webster, director and co-founder of the Greenmount West Community Foundation, the GWCCF. Mrs. Jackie Addison, representative of Baltimore City Democratic State Central Committee. Dr. Dennis Osar Winkler, chief teacher, psychotherapist, and founder of the Tanat Holistic Wellness Center. 
After the awards segment, the National Grand Chairman, Brother R. Edwards Ill, made final statements, then read the divine proclamation by the Prophet Noble Jirali and asked all to rise for prayer. The National Grand Chairman led all who were present in, re in reciting the Moorish American prayer. He then asked the Supreme Grand Historian, Brother D. Eddington Ill, to recite the Prophet's closing prayer. After the prayers, the banquet portion began. The members and officials of Grand Temple 13 prepared and served a very wonderful meal. The national staff of Grand Temple 13, Baltimore, actually served the people, demonstrating the degree of humility, praise Allah. All who were present socialized, laughed, and reminisced. There was a professional photographer present, Brother Mark Clemens Bay of Grand Temple 19 Atlanta, who took incredible photos documenting the event in a most professional manner. In summary, the Moorish American New Year celebration and awards banquet was a grand success. To conclude the festivities, Sunday school was held at Grand Sheik Eric Thompson Bay's temple located at 2900 Pressman Street in Baltimore, Maryland. Members from Grand Temple 13 of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America were in attendance and Grand Sheik Eric Thompson Bay even asked the National Grand Sheik of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother G. Turner Eel, to demonstrate from the Holy Altar. Aside from being a very inspiring and insightful Sunday school, it was also a very powerful display of unity. To conclude, these three days brought a revitalizing spirit to the reflective period of the Moorish American Holy Week. May the events of this weekend serve as an example of the possibilities of the Moorish Divine National Movement, reminding us to continually align our labors with the pristine, pure teachings of our illustrious prophet, Noble Jurali. I leave you as I came. In peace. <laughs>